Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today we're going to be uh, going over some of the problems with updating to iOS 7 and hopefully we'll be able to get those fixed. So let's do this. Alright, uh, so some of the main problems I've been seeing uh, for people that have been tweeting me or commenting is saying that it says they need to be a registered developer. Uh, now that is false, first of all. Uh, if you're getting that um, notification, uh, it could mean a couple things. One, if you jailbroke and you're just updating right to iOS 7 and you didn't restore first, um, I've heard that can cause it. So what you should do is back up, completely restore your device, update to iOS 7, and then um, sync your phone so you get all your contacts, music, photos, and whatnot back. But before all that, make sure you are on the latest iTunes because I know that causes a lot of problems and it has in the past as well with betas so make sure you're on the latest iTunes uh, also make sure you have the correct IPSW if you don't um, it should <laughs> prompt you and say that it there's an error because you can't do that so if you're getting any sort of error on iTunes um, make sure you're updated on iTunes and you have the correct IPSW now this first beta package uh, is signed and so you don't have to be a developer it doesn't require a registered UDID um, and I didn't register mine. The only time you'll need to register yours is if it completely deactivates your phone and doesn't let you restore, doesn't let you do anything. Um, that's when you need to register your UDID because they have patched it, of course. Um, and as soon as you register for, I don't know, like six or seven dollars, um, it'll instantly activate your phone again. But um, right now, if you are coming across that problem, you can go into DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, you hold down the home and hold button with your phone plugged in. The home and hold button for 10 seconds. After your phone is off for about 5 seconds, let go of the hold button and keep holding the home button until it pops up on your computer. Then you can do a fresh restore, hopefully back to 6.1.4 uh, because it is still assigned IPSW. Alright, so hopefully that fixed some of the problems you guys have been having. Um, I haven't tried mine without doing a fresh restore because if you watched in my video of how to do it, I did a fresh restore and then I did it because I heard that worked better but other people said they didn't have to do that from a jailbreak and it worked just fine. I did it just to be safe and it worked for me. So um, I would definitely, if you want to go back to 6.1.4, it's still a signed package thing as that is the current firmware. iOS 7 is supposed to be for betas or for uh, developers only. Uh, so you can go to uh, just Google search the 6.1.4. Uh, IPSW for your uh, current um, iPhone or iPod, whatever you're on, um, and then restore back to that and try iOS 7 again. And like I said, go to imzdl.com and they have the UDID registrations. Um, I was going to register and then I decided I'll just wait because I know uh, during, I think it was iOS 5 or iOS, I think it was iOS 5 um, when I updated to the beta. Uh, there was an update available. I updated it, my phone was completely deactivated. It said I wasn't a developer, I couldn't go back. Um, I'm not really sure why I went to DFU Motor Store. Anyway, it kept getting bringing up with errors. So I registered my UDID for like five or six dollars, and it lasted for 12 months. And uh, instantly, I was able to use my phone again. So if you do come across that problem, if you have five or six dollars to spare, IMZDL will definitely help you out there. They're a trusted site, so um, I use them in the past too, and no problems whatsoever. So hopefully, that answers most of your questions um, and troubleshooting problems. If you have any more, feel free to comment, um, but you can reach me a lot quicker through Twitter. Um, my Twitter link is at JB underscore iPhone 5. Um, since I have it connected to my phone, I can constantly be answering questions and whatnot, uh, which is generally the easiest way to get a hold of me. So uh, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully that works. And like I said, feedback below and on Twitter would be awesome. Peace out.